A wave is not just a ripple in water. A wave is the thread, visible or not, that unifies pattern. When I'm designing a new piece, there's often a sense of desperation because with a good project, I feel invincible. Without one, I don't know who I am. I might start with an observation like that when a raindrop falls in water, that pattern it makes. I'm always looking for an excuse to do a math problem. And so I might think, how can I describe that pattern mathematically, and then how can I fashion a set of waves to produce that movement? My hands might tell me they want to work with wood, you know, desiring that satisfaction that comes from knocking an edge down with a plane. And eventually, all these ideas gel, and I know what I'm doing. I really liked geometry in high school, especially the constructions where you draw circles and triangles and started off college as a math major, but changed to geology because I wanted to go camping, then anthropology because I wanted to go traveling, and finally graduated in English because I thought I might be a poet. After college, I did a bunch of traveling, sort of seeking conversations about utopia, and finally decided to learn how to draw, looking for a direct connection with nature and ended up in realistic painting schools in Italy and Russia. But I missed the math and I missed working with wood and I was still looking for a way to bring everything together. 25 years ago, while hiking up a dry riverbed, I came upon a little caterpillar that changed my life. It was green and transparent and I could see right through it. But the amazing thing was this perfect little sine waves that kept flowing through it. It seemed to me that the wave belonged to something bigger than the caterpillar, something more universal. When I moved into this studio in 2003, I'd been making caterpillars for three years, but the fluidity of the caterpillar that I saw just eluded me. And I kept thinking it'd be so much easier if I could make a wave that was floating in space rather than being bounded by the ground. But one of the most difficult things I find about being an artist is knowing when to persevere with a project and when to throw it out and start a new direction. I remember the day that I stopped working on caterpillars and started working with suspended waves. And suddenly I was seeing waves everywhere, raindrops in water, the spiral eddy that spins off a paddle when you're canoeing, anemones, dandelions. I remember being out on a sailboat at night and the moonlight was shining on the waves and all these waves were intersecting and overlapping. And it was just so beautiful. It was just really sensual and I'm Try to get back to that feeling. If you step back far enough, even seemingly isolated events take their place in a larger pattern. And where there's a pattern, there's a wave that connects it. And so the question inevitably becomes, is everything a wave? But the question also becomes, as you step back, what is lost? I think that one of the reasons that I'm drawn to waves is that they're this continuous form that goes between peaks and valleys. And they sort of like they unite opposites. And so it provides continuity that goes from happy to sad, from poor to rich, to lonely to lots of friends. It's just a continuous form that moves through everything. And, and I like that. 
After a decade of making waves, the Caterpillar returned to my life, and I happily spent another couple of years making more versions of them. When I'm in the middle of a project, it becomes the only thing that matters. If I can just get this Caterpillar to climb up the wood pile, my life will be complete. And the day comes that you turn it on and the Caterpillar climbs the wood pile and I'm ecstatic. But an hour later, I find myself thinking, wait a minute, if I map a wave to a Mobius strip, the peak would become a valley? I better make that one. Then my life will be complete. Recently, I found a photo of a hand-carved yo-yo I made when I was 10. A string, a piece of wood going up and down, my first wave sculpture. It occurred to me that I've been making the exact same thing all my life. This is what I love about waves. They teach you that you can always be changing and yet always staying exactly the same. These sculptures are the thread that bind pattern. They hold the world together.